Tanya says, I need to get this in my head. Yes, get it, get it in your head. Get it in your head. Think it over and over again. Spend time feeling it and thinking about it and repeating it over and over. Say it with emotion. Say, I am worth more than that. I am worth more than that. And really feel it. Feel what it's like to be worth more than that. And what it would feel like if you, were, if you really did believe that. And you'll start to believe it over time. We have to, it's all about conditioning, really, right? Like the way that we experience our lives is about the way that we condition ourselves and what we focus on. And so if we focus on negative things all the time, we will feel bad. And if we focus on positive things, if we focus on the things that we want, if we focus on thinking of ourselves and changing our identity and believing that we're blessed and that we're sacred and that we're powerful and, and really getting into that and spending time and conditioning our mind to think that way, we'll start thinking that way and start feeling that. And I, you know, I get women all the time that come to me and they, they might get like mess, like angry about some of the messages that we have on here. And it, it's like, it's understandable. We live in a culture right now where a lot of people think that we should just be given everything and that we shouldn't do anything different. And if that we do it, anything different, it means that it's not us. It's not who we are. And I disagree with that. I think that most of who we are, most of what we experience is actually just from our past, right? It's, it's from our, our past experiences. If you grew up in a different country, in a different culture, you'd be a completely different person. The way that you act, the way that you talk, how you behave, everything that you do would be different. The clothes that you wear, everything would be different. And it's... And so, so the point is, is that it's not about the things that you do or any of that kind of stuff because those can change, right? Like if you, if you know, when you were born, you didn't know how to do anything. You had to learn everything. You had to learn how to walk, right? So is, is walking not who you are, right? Like that doesn't make any sense. So learning relationship skills doesn't mean that you're trying to be someone that you're not. It means you, you can be who you are and, and learn more about yourself and, and, and more about your personality and who you want to be and learn how to better connect with people and have better relationships. All right, I'm going off on a tangent here. Let's, let's see what other people have to say about this.